Hi guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we will be looking into some Docker interview questions with real-time scenarios. As to when we interview, will ask you why did you use Docker in your project? What advantages you face when you Dockerize your application? When you containerize your application? What will happen if you do not containerize your application? And what are the disadvantages you face when you Dockerize or containerize your Spring Boot application? To answer all such real-time interview questions, we are going to answer in this video today. So let's get started. Did you use Docker in your project? And if you have used, why have you taken the step to move or to a Dockerized application? You should know the real time scenarios which cause the problem in your project. And even if you don't know, you can use few of the scenarios I'm giving in the real time scenarios. Most of the application face this issue and that is why they have moved to Dockerize your application. One example I can give you is that most of the developers, you can see them saying that but it works on my machine. Why does it work on your QA or testers machine? I don't know. It works on my machine. You can come to my machine and see it is working fine. So this is a very common problem that developers face. There are many scenarios which causes this issue. So sometimes our code base is same. The same code is deployed to the testing, the development and QA environment. The local environment works fine. But these environment might break and even if searching that the code is completely same, there is no difference in code. How come this difference comes in running the application? That's because there can be some mismatch of dependencies, conflict in versions and many issues that can come while running. So this problem is faced by multiple developers and hence Docker is said to be created by developers for developers. Docker says don't worry. It is running on your local, means your dependencies are fine, your versions for the jars are fine, your package is perfectly fine, now do one thing. Package it completely. For everything that you need, package it together. Create one image and deploy it in a central repository. Like what we do with GitHub. Application is running fine, what we do? We instantly commit to the repository. What others can do? Pull it and see, okay, this is a working code for me. Similarly, Docker developer says, okay, now since your application is running end to end perfectly fine, let's not just commit the code, let's also commit all the packages which is required to run your application perfectly fine. The spring security jars, the spring framework jars, everything that you need, package it in an image with the exact version so that it makes sure that no version conflicts happen, the dependencies are exactly same. And when this container is run on the testing environment or develop, development or QA environment, you will be safe. You will not be finding an issues of disparencies in dependency and versions. That is why it is best to move to Docker to remove such problems of, but it works on my machine. Apart from that, there was multiple, multiple more advantages. Say, it is very easy to ship and run application. Also in after IT world, you know that it is very important to deliver quickly. Nowadays, we have sprint of only 14 days. In 14 days, you have to understand your requirement. You have to develop it. You have to deploy it and give it a demo to the client that yes, I have done this much task. Isn't this a tough task for we developers? Isn't this a very big challenge to us that yes, you are understanding perfectly fine. You are developing it and you are also running it in not only in your local. It, you should be capable enough to run it with the dev people, testing people, QA people and the client also in the production. Tough task like 14 days are very less for us to make sure everything works fine. To make our life easy, Docker comes into picture. It says, don't worry. You develop in your local. Rest I make sure that your code as it works on local will work the same in production, test and QA environment. So that's where Docker comes to rescue you. Also with Docker, you not only push your code like you do in the GitHub, but you also push your whole infrastructure. If you can see, you have also packaged your connectors, MySQL connector. You have also packaged your Spring Security. So you can see Spring Security, Crypto, RSA, many, many things are also packaged and basic infrastructure that is needed to run your application is packaged and shipped so that's the advantage of docker the shipping of complete environment or ecosystem testable and deployable to any environment be it qa be it development be it test be it prod everything can be done quickly because if you have your image ready what you have to do create a ci cd pipeline put a command that go pull my image from docker hub as soon as you pull your image the next thing that you need to do the second thing that you need to do is run your image 
when you do the docker run for your image a container will be created on that server and as soon as your container is created nothing to worry now only two steps and you make sure that the things that is working on your local is also working on any of the server with the compatible operating system is capable enough to run your code just like you can run it on a local it actually significantly reduces the delay between writing the code and running in production as soon as you're done in local few seconds and you will be able to run it in production also that's because of docker in you in your life so the use cases can be said as it does the standardization environment standardization means in any environment your application will run exactly same the second use case is the faster configuration with consistency that means since your pack image contains the same version of packages your consistency is maintained across all environments the third is better disaster recovery now remember when you push a code you know that your code is safe because it is on cloud similarly is with the docker images whenever you are done with your local testing with the container spinning and everything what you do is you push your docker image to docker hub now at any point of time if your server crashes and you have to move to the new server what you need to do there again only two steps what two steps pull the image from docker hub and run the image instantly a new container will spin up with your application working exactly how it was working on your previous hardware or server so this is the best disaster recovery you can expect in a 90 volt no configuration needed no dependency management no version conflict resolution nothing you have to do everything is there in your image just run it and you will be fine similarly when you are deployed to production what happens is you do incremental development right every 14 days you give a production deployment now if in case this in the sprint your code broke and you need to revert it to the previous image or the previous code what you will do rather than doing roll back at every step from run time to run time you can just pull the previous docker image from the docker hub and run it you don't have to do anything just run the previous docker image and that is how your roll back works also adoption of devops becomes easy because only two steps and your ci cd will be capable enough to pull your image in your server and run it so that's how devops also becomes easier with docker integration now once you have told them so many advantages of docker they would also expect you to know the disadvantages of docker since such a long time we are saying that docker is this docker is that docker is wow but there must be some disadvantages to docker right which becomes the bottleneck in our application which can become the bottleneck in our application so you must also know the disadvantages of docker the very first and the big disadvantage is security though containers are so good they are lightweight they are beautiful they works in a consistent way across all environments but you need to pay for this with security so security is for sure a downside why the reason being containers in most of the cases uses the common operating system and common kernel when you comes to the vm machines virtual machines they do not share the common operating system you can always include a linux operating system on windows operating system so that says they have two different kernels two different operating systems nothing getting getting shared between operating systems but when it comes to containers they share the underlying operating system and that is why it's i have already told you if your image is linux compatible do not try to upload that image or run that image on windows it will not run because they share the common operating systems it has to be linux to make your application work fine since the operating system is common with multiple containers running on the same machine so on the same machine you can have multiple containers if the multiple containers have the common operating system one attack to one operating system and multiple containers are attacked and compromised so multiple containers will be compromised once the host operating system is attacked this is not the case with virtual machine because virtual machine uses its own operating system we will be seeing what is the difference between virtual machine and containerized applications in the next question the second disadvantage of using docker is docker containers does not run at bare metal speeds bare metal speed says running on my own hardware operating system everything is mine kernel is mine whole of the kernel is mine whole of the operating system is mine every hardware is mine that's the bare metal but 
Containers does not do that. Containers share the operating system and hardware. Both of the things are shared. Since the kernel and operating system are shared, when kernel sees that there is a very less memory for host machine to run the basic things. So if I can see here with the task manager, if I say the performance is very low, too much of things are working, then it starts killing the processes. And it might also kill your Docker process and hence your application might be killed at any point of time. So Docker have the disadvantage of having the containers running on the host kernel. Most of the power is in the host kernel's hand. You cannot do anything in that. The third very big disadvantage that I've already told you is container is volatile. What does that mean? When your container is killed, all your data disappears. And hence to prevent that, you need to use the Docker data volumes that I have shown you here. You can use to create the backup with the Docker data volumes. But it is challenged since it is not addressed in a seamless way in Docker. Since Docker even says it's fairly new in 2011-12 only it has been introduced. So it's fairly new and since I've always told you Docker is created by developers for developers. Many of the things are there to create your life easy but many of the things are overlooked which is not necessary for your day-to-day -day development and deployment. So one of that is this Docker data volumes. It's not that great how you store it in your hardware. It's not that safe. So yeah, persistent data storage is complicated with Docker. Also remember, if you have a simple application which is easily deployable, do not go for Dockerization. Use Docker when your application is complicated and the de deployment process is very tedious and where there's a chance that your application might run in your local, might not run on your other environments. Only when you see an advantage, then move to Docker. Also, if you need to have a different operating system on kernel, do not use it because Docker images requires the same operating system which it is created for to run because it needs the same operating underlying operating system. If you need a Windows operating system to run your Linux image, you cannot do that. So don't use it if you have the servers with mix and match of Windows and Linux you will not be able to run it cross operating system at all. So if an application is developed on Windows, but production server runs on Linux, you will not be able to use Docker effectively. So don't do that. I have many, many more things to cover in Docker. Say the Docker's component, the architecture of Docker, what is Docker daemon, what is Docker registry, what is Docker compose, Docker networking, Docker storage, what is Docker architecture difference between docker and vm virtualization hypervisor docker lifecycle cheat sheet and the best practices many things i need to cover also i need to cover the live demonstrations for the demo we have created for dockerizing a spring boot application and dockerizing a microservice application and how to interact with the mysql database created as a separate container so here you can see i have different microservices interacting with a mysql db and it is working fine. So how did we do? How did we achieve microservices interacting with a database, which is external container? Many things I have to cover. If you want me to cover this, let me know in the comment section. I'll create third part of it. Thank you.